Josie. Go Josie. Go Josie. Go Josie. Go Josie. How are you? Good morning and welcome everyone to Fridays this morning. I'm here. I know you are. <laughs> Alison's having a day off. What have you done with her? Um, well, what Alison, have you done with her? First Alison. it's Dot on the doorstep and now it's this. Well, um, Alison did say that I could cover for her today. So, uh, yeah, as long as I get her a really good birthday present. OK, so when's her birthday? It's either the 4th or the 5th of February. Oh, I can't remember which day. You spent but... Christmas Day with her. I mean, no. this is... You know, you know this one. Yeah, but we're both Aquariuses, so hers is either the fourth or fifth, but I cannot think of anything really special to buy her. What have you bought her in the past? <laughs> really good presents. It's the fifth of Feb. Can you it's remember? The fifth of Feb. Can you remember anything you bought her in the past? I um, do, I do <laughs> like to buy good presents to her, Matt. Uh -huh. I really do. I know I went to her house empty-handed at Christmas, but... You bought you and the little fella on Christmas Day. I did. You didn't need anything else? But the only I think you bought was... the party on Christmas Day. The... <laughs> Hey? The presents did arrive after Christmas, so I did get oh, them something. Right. I did. Um, but, yeah, they arrived that's after Christmas, and I've given them to her now. So, so but... what do you want to get her for, for her birthday? Are you, are you, is it, like, a thing or an experience, or what would you... What avenue do you think she'd like? I think an experience. So if anybody can think of anything that I could get Alison... everything from here, so she doesn't need any things, because everything, no. everything she needs... She gets here every Friday. She does, in yeah. The bag, so if, you know. if you can think of anything really special I can get her, tweet us. Tweet us, give me some ideas. Well, you've done some amazing things. Surely stick her on one of them zip wires or something. That you've yes. done. Let's do that. Make it torturous. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now, we want to share something with you that caught our eye on this morning. Taryn Devere has found a novel way to inject some colour into an otherwise blue January by dressing up in costumes inspired by things she finds in her home. But this isn't just resting up. This is creativity to a whole new level. Take a look at... Wow. <laughs> Take a look at Smarties, for example. And Taryn joins us now. Oh, hang on a second. There has to be one more. Oh, wow. Toothpaste. Lovely. And she joins us now with one of her favourite looks. Uh, well, I don't want to tell you, the, the, the viewers, what it is. Morning, Taryn. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thank you for having me on. Thanks for joining us. Some lovely Donny Gould. So, um... Would you step back a little bit? Because we can only obviously see your, your kind yeah, of the, the, sure. the top there. Can we yeah, have the whole right. thing and maybe we can work out what you are? Okay, okay. I know right. what it is. Oh, I'd say clues wise, very Christmassy. Christmas isn't the same without this. I know exactly what it is. Do you? Gibson. Do you? Do you, you, know? you are the What's purple quality street. Well, yeah, close. I'm a tin. I'm the tin of quality. You're the tin, of course. Love it. <laughs> so, Tara, where did the idea come from to do this? And what was the, what's the, the motivation behind it? Well, I was thinking that January was going to be a bit of a grim month and that I'd be stuck in the house for most of it because I was trying to keep safe and obviously just weather and everything as well. And then I thought, well, if I have to be stuck in my house, why not be inspired by my house and set myself a little creative challenge of getting dressed up in different outfits each day inspired by things in my house? So that's what I've been doing the whole month of January, every day, posting a new picture on Instagram of my daily outfits. And what did you dress up as first? You know, what gave you the inspiration to think, yeah, I'm going to dress up as household objects? So the inspiration came from Sync Unblocker, um, which was a lovely... <laughs> as it always does. <laughs> it was a lovely bottle of orange and red and it has white, it has different colours on it. And I thought to myself, I have the clothes that I could um, put that an outfit together to try and recreate that look. So that was the first one. And I was, none of the... Oh, you, amazing. So you, you don't go out for any... Everything you dress up as, so all your own costumes are within your house at the moment. You don't send out for, oh, I want to look like a toilet duck. I'll, I'll buy some toilet duck costumes on Amazon. You'll make these yourself, right? Well, no, I don't really make any of them. They're all things that I already have in my wardrobe. My one um, rule for the challenge was that I'm not allowed to buy anything new. Yeah. So I have to use the stuff that I already own. Um, the only thing that I have made something for was today's outfit that I had on earlier today, which was a can of Guinness, and I made a, a calf <laughs> out of pencil. So, What's your favourite? What's my favourite? Uh, obviously, this one's very fun. But I think my favourite really is the toothpaste because it's such a striking outfit and it's a, it's a look I never would have put together 
um, if, it, if I hadn't been trying to recreate uh, a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> now, you go, you're so creative and you, you, obviously you're dressing up in all these gorgeous outfits. How long do you keep them on for? Oh, I wear them for the whole day usually. Um, and so, you know, that's me going to, to Little or whatever to do my shopping. And, you go shopping. And, my... yeah. and Taryn, we're, yeah. we're almost halfway through January now. So how's the inspiration going? Like, have you got, have you got 15 more outfits to do, 16 more outfits to do, or are you, are you kind of, are you, are you struggling now? Or will you carry on through February? I am not struggling at all. Uh, fortunately, I have many decades of charity shopping behind me and I have a very extensive wardrobe. And I also have loads of inspiration. There's just so many inspiring things. I just open up the fridge and there's the inspiration. So um, people have been, I, I did commit to doing the, the January of things in my house, but loads of people have been contacting me and asking me to do things in their house. So I uh, have decided to extend to February when I'll be taking like reader requests and uh, dressing up as things in other people's houses. So let's see how that goes. That's great. <laughs> and do you know what, Taryn? I love the way that you're matching the curtains there. <laughs> Look at that. That's very good. I, I started good. sewing at the end of last year and I used curtains to make um, caftans. Oh, right. Because that's about, that's about the level of my sewing skill, like straight lines, you know. Clever. Very impressive. Taryn, I don't know where, where your inspiration came from, but if you, were, if you needed any more for the next two weeks, I've got a little package for you right now with someone very close to our hearts who... who Sets the bar when it comes to this morning's outfits. Take a look at this. I'm obviously dressed in disguise as a cone, but not the sort you put your ice cream on. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, I'm dressed as a wall. It's OK. It's OK. Colette's ready to play Dosh on your doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Alison. Good morning, Dermot. <laughs> I've had to change out of my Bigfoot outfit because I was overheating. <laughs> what are you saying? You've got some sisterhood going on here. The, the, you two are yeah, bedfellows. That's, that's a stiff competition there now. <laughs> <laughs> very stiff, very stiff. But they've had me glammed up today. What a difference, you know. Oh. One minute you're a wall, the next minute you've been glammed up. the show me. <laughs> 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 hey, well, thanks, Taryn. Thank you very much. And like us, I'm sure you want to see what else Taryn has in her dressing up box. So if you're up for it, Taryn, will you join us again later? Yeah, for sure. Oh, 100%. brilliant. I just need to see the size of that wardrobe. I can't wait. Yes, I thanks, Taryn. Yeah. Now, <laughs> thank you. Thanks, Taryn. Thank you. Do you have a favourite? Well, didn't you dress up as a bin one? I think the bin was my favourite. Really? Uh, well, the cone was my favourite, the traffic light, or the wall. The wall was genius. What was the week where someone genuinely thought you were the thing? Was it the traffic light? Did someone stop with you when you, when you were a traffic light? Or did someone put rubbish in you when you were a bin? No, it was um, a traffic light. And I was going like that with my torch yeah. through the traffic lights. And I was stopping traffic. And they actually thought I was a, I was a traffic light. It was amazing. I thought, this is actually quite powerful. <laughs> this is a... You get used to this. <laughs> it's the first time during my... I've stopped traffic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, we've got a packed Fun Friday for a show for you. Here's what's coming up. Michaela Chiappa is back with another Italian crowd pleaser. Michaela, hey, tell Michaela. us what you're making. Good morning. Um, I'm doing an Italian classic, chicken cacciatore. It's, um, it's in one pot. It's super easy to do and the whole family can enjoy it. It looks it gorgeous. smells sensational, doesn't it? Yeah, I cannot wait to get one. I'm not even over the mushroom risotto from last week. <laughs> it's do me in, Michaela. Uh, the greatest and only show on Ice Returns. Uh, three of its, ho uh, its hopeful soap royalty. Sally Dinever, Happy Monday star Bears and Team GB BMX Zero Kai White going to be live from the ring. And if you're looking to inject some life into your home this new year, Georgina Burnett is here to get you on trend. Good morning, Good Georgina. Georgina. Good morning. Yeah, people talk about having the January blues, but actually this particular blue called Very Perry, it's the Pantone colour for 2022, is quite a joyous colour. And so I'm going to show you how to incorporate it into your home, how to start it so you can get ahead because it's going to be one of those big trends for the year. Thank you. Also come up... Also coming up on the show, does your pet have star quality? Pet agent Loni Edwards tells us tells us how to turn your pet into a social media sensation. That's at 10.30.
Uh, we know her best as the formidable Cindy Beal, but now Michelle Collins takes on a new iconic role as Miss Scarlet in the brand new stage play Cluedo. She is here with us at 5 to 11. And we meet the woman who made history by getting married to her favourite colour. Yes. Kitten K. Sarah <laughs> will be here at 10 past 11. Very and a word we are for her yes. too. And a word about the phone-in. If you're struggling to get an appointment with a vet due to the national shortage, Dr Scott is back to, with open lines to answer any pet-related questions in another Call Our Vet. Who can get in touch today, Scott? Well, look, the lines are open. Any questions that you've got, any maladies that you may have with your mutt or, or feline problems, then please do give us a call. I'm particularly interested, does anyone have any New Year's resolutions for their pet? Do they want them to try and lose a bit of weight, change your diet, do a little bit more exercise? Give us a call. I'm here for you and we'll chat it through. Uh, thanks, Scott. Give us a call for free. 08000 30 40 44. Download the free This Morning app to uh, get involved and get in touch by 11.15. You have to be 18 or over. But first, joining us to discuss the top stories are Giles and